controversy tonight surrounding some members of the Rochester Police Accountability Board. Last week, they attended an election night victory party for Stanley Martin, who won a seat on city council. Martin is a well-known leader in the Black Lives Matter movement. The police union has put photos on social media that says show members of the Police Accountability Board in attendance at the party and participants at this party chanting vulgarities aimed at police. The police union is calling into question the PAB's ability to be fair and unbiased as a result. And Christian Garzon joins us now with much more on this controversy. Christian? Well, Maureen, Martin is a vocal advocate of defunding the police. And those images are now going viral online. And they have some people, including members of the police union, asking how the PAB can be unbiased when dealing with police. Connor Dwyer Reynolds with the board says the images were taken out of context. Connor Dwyer Reynolds with the Police Accountability Board says on election night, he and other members went to an election night watch party hosted by five different candidates, including this one here featuring Stanley Martin, where shouts of expletive the police can be heard. At the end of that uh, event, one candidate said some comments and chants that I neither supported nor participated in. Reynolds says this was not supposed to be an anti-police rally. He says the PAB's job is to be fair and impartial. It's also our job to reach across the aisle, work with both police and people who don't trust the police. Police Union President Mike Mazio says PAB members at such an event raises a lot of questions when it comes to fairness and PAB members to approach cases without bias. And if we're going to get to a better place, and we want true accountability and oversight, you have to have a process that's going to be fair, going to be neutral. Mazio says for PAB members to find common ground with police and the public, well, you can't try to wear every hat in every fight. And then uh, render decisions. Reynolds says the tweet by the Locust Club was misleading. He'd like to move forward. We always have to be willing to do two things, listen to each other and focus on the facts. Now, both Reynolds and Mazu agreed we are seeing unprecedented levels of violence, and everything at this point needs to be focused on ending that. Maureen, back to you. All right.